Ladies and gentlemen, our winner is Manu Prakash. He's a physicist and associate professor of bioengineering at Stanford. He did his master's and PhD in applied physics at MIT before founding the Prakash Lab at Stanford. His ultra-low cost print and fold paper microscope won a $100,000 grant from the Gates Foundation and Manu's mission is to bring new technologies to global health. Thank you so much. It's an incredible honor to be standing here today uh, in front of people like you. Uh, being face of the future actually puts a lot of pressure on me <laughs> because I don't feel I haven't done anything yet. And to just tell you from a context of I had a great trend uh, car ride with uh, one of the Geography B uh, winners, and that's really what made me thinking about this. And I heard these examples of the spelling bees. Uh, you saw my chemistry teacher there. I remember one day uh, my Hindi teacher got really mad at me, and then I wasn't sure why. She had asked me to spell the word uh, badal, and uh, all I could write was badla. <laughs> so, uh, I wasn't, I wasn't really a good sort of a academic uh, learner initially as I started. Um, I arrived in this country 12 years ago all by myself, and I was completely clueless. I was wearing uh, chapels when it was, <laughs> it was really cold outside in Boston. And the very first thing that made me feel at home uh, was an Indian grocery store. And you all know if you ever made this transition to this country. And then the other thing, as somebody else mentioned, was what I saw on the table was India abroad. So it, <laughs> um, the other aspect of when I think about what I want to do, uh, both from a context of being an inventor and an academic scientist uh, and an entrepreneur, is I would hear this word, uh, Professor Amar Bose, uh, along the uh, walkways of MIT. And uh, I didn't know who he was. I started learning about an incredible impact he'd had in an academic side. Later on, I realized, uh, you know, Bose is Amar Bose. And he made such an important impact on me in thinking about uh, how do you really bridge the gap between bringing tools to society, but at the same time, having a bearing in an intellectual and academic environment. So Indian Americans have achieved so much in this country and frankly, you're all such an inspiration to my generations and generations to come. This is why this award means so much to me personally, because it comes from a community that I belong to. I have to tell you uh, what keeps me up at night sometimes, because we have incredible challenges ahead of us. One of the things about my own family is, um, most of it uh, lives in India, is uh, my mother is a teacher. She teaches in a rural college uh, close to Bareilly called Bisalpur. All her five sisters are teachers. Then my grandfather is a teacher. And then I married a teacher. And it was sort of obvious that I had to become a teacher. And I think a lot about uh, what is it to the kids that we're providing? What does it mean for them to learn? And it's very important to me when my graduate students stand up and realize that curiosity is one of the most important thing that we can give to our kids and that they all come with it and we take it away, which is uh, essentially terrible from a context of thinking about are we doing our job right? So I think a lot about tools that we can get out in the world, but at a global sense, uh, when I think about that there are two billion kids around in the world and how many of them are actually learning science the way it should be taught, it really bothers me, and this is one of the aspects and inspirations of how I think about both global health and science education, and being able to connect the two together. Who are the people out who will actually provide healthcare services? It's not technology that's going to solve incredible problems that we have, it's the people who will provide these services. So in the end, I really have to uh, thank four people in my life that have uh, just been so tremendously important to personally to me and who I am today. Uh, first of them is my elder brother Anurag, uh, who you didn't see in the video and uh, he's not here today. Uh, he lives in India and he's actually the reason I'm alive because all those explosives and the experiments the chemistry teacher was talking about, all the failed experiments, he took the blame for them. He would get a beating for them sometimes. <laughs> And it's just amazing to have a partner like that uh, in a scientific endeavor early. Uh, another one is my wife, Sophie Dumont, uh, which happens to be here. 
And uh, she's an incredible scientist, and she teaches me how to be humble about science and really go after mysteries in science and really uh, somebody, a pillar in my life, uh, both in good times and bad times. Uh, she's really picked me up. Uh, and then uh, my father is here, Bridgepal Singh, and uh, he's a very passionate man. Uh, one time I remember uh, we used to choose cities to live in India primarily based on whether they could find a school. And uh, we moved to a city called Rampur, and my brother was academically really good. The principal essentially gave him a seat and said, no, I'm not going to take Manu. We'll take Anurag in our school. And he gambled my brother's seat. He said, no, you can't. Uh, I will have both my kids be kicked out unless you take both of them. And it was such an incredible sense of thinking about education from the very early on uh, that makes me so passionate about education. And then finally, my mother is here, uh, Sushma Rani. And I almost choke most of the time when I talk about her. There was a time I went to school without a pencil box for my final exams. She took a bus for an hour and a half to come back to give me a pencil, not realizing I could have borrowed a pencil from a friend, which I did. And that level of dedication, personally, I just do not know. Uh, if I have kids, that's really what I uh, aspire to be. So anything I am today is uh, primarily because of her sacrifices in life. And thank you, thank you so much. You're all such an inspiration to my generation, and, and I truly believe uh, we have a fantastic future and ahead of us, especially when I hear those spelling bee kids. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.